episode 92 of the Sharp Part Podcast. I'm Liam Salva, joined by Michael Dickens. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> good. Actually, I do have something I want to talk about. Okay. What do you want to talk about? You saw me and my lady Nike this morning. Oh, I know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but I think I did see your girlfriend's ass. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't want to let her know and make see? her feel bad about no, it. No, <laughs> she was very embarrassed, but I was... <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the side? Yeah, okay. it was like the side back, so it was only really like leg pretty much. Yeah. You know when the like, side ass kind of no, just like I, a big leg? That's the least embarrassing part. Yeah, and it was only like, I couldn't really see your leg, so it was only like peeking out behind the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was glad because her, it was also covering your dick. So. Oh yeah, that's good. that's good. So I was glad that it was like a double coverage <laughs> of only seeing a little bit of cheek. To double coverage? <laughs> yeah. I would rather see the side of her ass than see your full dick. Oh, me too. <laughs> Because then I, I would know the answer. It wasn't. It was actually looking decent because we did just have some sexy time. Ooh. So I was, <laughs> I was like, this is the best time for him to see it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. But it's also mid piss, so it's gonna be. It was. It's like a weird time for me to see it. I'd rather you take me aside <laughs> and be like, "Hey, look at this," and then open up your shorts. <laughs> take a look. And I'm peeing my pants. Yeah. The, <laughs> I, I expected it to happen because you guys walk around pretty oh, nude. It's going to happen. So I was like, I, they're never going to see me naked, but I guarantee you, at least one time living together, I'm going to see one of them naked, and it's going to be a little bit awkward. <laughs> yeah, and Lily was worried that Rachel would be mad. Oh, no, she's, she's like, care. She's like, I would be mad. <laughs> Why? I'm, I'm going to have to show her my dick now <laughs> so we get even. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> I actually, I felt bad. Because I slammed the door and I was like, oh, should I open it again? <laughs> <laughs> open it full dick out. Like, Guy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to slam it on you. <laughs> We're not mad at you. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> We're not mad. It's not your fault. We're just no, disappointed I, in ourselves. <laughs> I saw that you were looking away. You yeah. Because I was like, all right, I'm going to wait for them to shut the door. So I immediately just turned my eyes like I saw my mom and dad naked. <laughs> like I didn't see anything. <laughs> well, I, was, I wasn't embarrassed, but... Yeah, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> it, I mean, it was bound to happen. I was expecting it. You're gonna see me naked, though. Eventually, there's no, yeah, there's no so. doubt about it. I'm yeah, gonna force it door, on you. Leave that door open. You <laughs> better. It's only fair. You're, you and your girlfriend both are gonna see my full hard cock. <laughs> <laughs> Just barge in our room yeah. one night. <laughs> Dick only in the, your doorway. Just like put it out, <laughs> like it's peeking in. <laughs> Scoping it out Like the Scooby Doo When they layer on top of each other Peeking around the corner That's gonna be my dick Looking at you guys You can do that Yeah <laughs> If we were a little bit more confident That'd be a very funny photo That would be such a good prank Yeah to Pull on someone Just like Especially if you had a curved penis Cause then it like looks around the corner <laughs> Damn, someone should make a por- Scooby Doo porn like that. Yeah. Where it's just like a gang bang. Put and it's just five dicks. Like Google. Yeah. On there. That's a pretty good porn. That is good. <laughs> we got to take that. Take that to the execs. If we had more confidence in a slightly, uh, a lot larger penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big time. I like dudes that uh, think they can be in porn just because they like enjoy having sex. They're like, yeah, I could easily I fuck. Could do that. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was one of those dudes before, yeah. before I had sex. You're like, dream job. I'm fucking girls 24-7. <laughs> of course. I mean, isn't no. that every guy's dream job? No. no it's not? No. It was never yours? I would get tired. Because they... I would get tired. I enjoy the times when you just like, all right, quick three minutes, we're done. <laughs> yeah, that, that is true. It's brutal to have to shoot for like four hours and stay hard and act. <laughs> <laughs> And be a gay theater kid. Yeah, <laughs> the imagine same time. how bad I, my my wiener would hurt so bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is funny to think like actors are all theater kids that grew up. It is funny to be like a theater kid, porn actress. It's just a degenerate <laughs> theater kid. Just <laughs> one of the emo theater kids. They started doing their little games off to the side, yeah. like the improv games and the mirroring. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. There, yeah, I feel like a uh, porn isn't the actresses that were theater kids it's more of them that wanted just to be actresses for their fame oh for the clout for yeah. sure for sure i'm in it for the good reasons i'm in it just so i can sing for with my art. buddies for the art <laughs> yeah. i just want to sing all day long and play games <laughs> <laughs> that's unironically my dream just sing and play games all sing day and play games that's with my fair. friends yeah yeah because you are the guy that would love to bring out a guitar at a party oh my god and dude. they would love it if you brought the guitar out and i was good yeah They'd be like, hey, Michael, pull out that. We're all going to sing along. Can you play a guitar for us? <laughs> I had that. I had that when I worked as a camp counselor. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, dream job the best, right there. I would, I would bring that out for the kids. Yeah, I'd take them to the cabin. Yeah, they're all like fucking around, and I'm just sitting there on the table just playing. <laughs> 
they're just not interested at all. They have no interest in me. I feel like your dream is to do the cup song from Pitch Perfect and, <laughs> and just have someone be like, dude, you're so good at that. Isn't that everyone's dream? How is that not? Everyone's dream is to be a cool, like a theater kid that everyone loves. Yeah. Oh, my God. If you could just surround yourself by all theater kids, you would have it made. You could be I, as I gay it. as you want to be. I'm, I'm serious. I had it. Yeah. I was just around a bunch of gay gay kids, theater kids. <laughs> theater camp you should do a theater camp oh my god that would be nice i did the uh i would we'd have variety shows like talent show they were they were yeah. talent shows but everyone was talentless so it was a variety yeah. show and was it a jewish summer camp Never mind. No. <laughs> <laughs> they're like i can count money real fast <laughs> i can count to about ten thousand dollars real fast <laughs> uh, there, there were definitely some jewish kids a lot of mexicans Oh. And like I can build a house pretty good. You see the strawberries over there? <laughs> <laughs> I could pick it for twenty five cents each. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sell you roses on the street. <laughs> they, yeah, we'd have these variety shows, and I, I would host them. Oh, I was okay. like always the host of it. Hell yeah! Like, All right, guys, let's go. And then the one time I tried doing a backflip, and I, I was I did a bunch of backflips, and then I tried to round off backflip and landed directly on my head <laughs> in front of two hundred fifty th- just kids. How old were the kids? 12 year old so it was like around yeah. the age where i want them to think i'm cool yeah because i never because i'm a slave it's so much pussy <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> it, i mean i never had that when i was 12 years old yeah so i was like I, I can get it back i can redeem myself from my middle school years and i landed directly on my head and some girl got a video of it nice oh Concussion, what, back what, concussion. What was the like? Uh, what did the kids say? Like, what were they oh! like? Oh, nice. Oh, That's my the best. god. <laughs> I still. I mean, I was like blacked out. Stood up. Apparently, I yelled at my coworker. He was like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "I'm fine. Get away from me." It's like I'm good. Let's get I back to, to dancing. I wanted the kids to laugh. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the best part of a summer camp as a counselor is to have a tryst with another counselor. Just What's a tryst? A sexual encounter. Oh, like there was that. Along. There you was had, that. You had it? I didn't have that. No, I was, I was tied down then. <laughs> I was. It would be so nice because then you're like, all day long you're dealing with these kids and like, oh, it's going to be all worth it. So we get some pussy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> dude, my, my best friend had that. Oh, that'd be so yeah, nice. Yeah, dude, that was, I was, I was living vicariously through them. And you go have sex in bunk beds. <laughs> 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 or, or like a room where there's three other beds in the room. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Shh, be quiet. <laughs> on a single bed yeah. a single mattress it was oh. it was insane he he told me a story about how he kissed this girl very crunchy girl short hair i think she shaved her head i mean when in rome right when in rome dude. if you're gonna be a guy if you're gonna be a camp counselor you gotta fuck you got a girl that has armpit hair <laughs> yep she had armpit hair leg hair you gotta you gotta fuck a borderline trans man <laughs> and he 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 was on the roof with her and they made out he's like on a dude butterface but <laughs> i mean that bod you, there's only there's slim pickings when you're at a camp you're gonna be a bunch of overweight ladies and then it's gonna be like two girls that like, is possible that's in shape <laughs> yeah they like to run yeah but they also they like to run in the woods barefoot <laughs> they got you dirty suck feet. on their callous toes <laughs> they haven't ran in the woods in a while but they still got dirty feet for oh. some reason <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah it's it was a, it was a fun time. Good I went time. to diabetes camp as a kid, and I thought I was gonna get pussy there. That's how oh, alluring camp time. pussy is. <laughs> <laughs> I was like eight years old, being like, "I'm gonna fucking slay there." And you see a cabin, and you just rock hard. Oh yeah, every time. There's something so erotic about fucking when there's a bunch of other kids there when you're also a kid. Yeah, because <sighs> you think nobody else is doing this. this yeah. Is- yeah, you think you're being a bad boy. And then I just hang on, hung out with the boys the rest of the time. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm a slave on a pushy. I didn't talk to one girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That dude, my, my friend, he banged two girls there. <sighs> yeah. It's a small he, town, too. Knocking them down. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna talk they about talk, that. They talked. They yapped. Yeah. They did. But they were all buddies. All right. we, we lived with the one girl. So yeah. we kind of got... A little, a little weird. awkward. Yeah. And we were we were not shipping it. Everyone was like, don't do it, dude. <laughs> Please don't fuck our roommate. <laughs> Please don't. Come on. If you fuck her, we're all going to have to fuck her to make it not weird. <laughs> <laughs> and it was especially weird because one of the dudes, also he had a crush on her, on the girl. Oh. Got a little, little yeah. dicey there. Yeah. 
The only way to resolve that is that you all fuck her and make her feel like she's the weird one for... <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you fucked all of us, so it's kind of awkward that you're still here. Yeah. <laughs> you're supposed to leave. Yeah. Like, you're supposed to get out. You ran through all of us. Now, shoo. Get That's out of here. Go work. back home. That's how you, you get dirtied up. Go back home. <laughs> get tossed around. It would have been nice to be like a, a lady in the battle, like Civil War, when you dress like a man, then run through the whole platoon. And you're like, all right, boys, I think my job's done here. <laughs> and just go home. Yep. That would be. <laughs> just missing a leg. Just, just, a la- just, a, just a lady missing a leg. Just a lady with a shaved head and just strapped down tits. <laughs> <laughs> they all still think she's a guy. Yeah. They're like, I thought I was getting some boy pussy. It looks like yeah. she's a real one. <laughs> yeah. They they like take the pants off and go. Whoa! You're not allowed to be here. <laughs> They're more upset that that, that, that she's, she's fighting in the yeah. war. Whoa! I'm glad I get some pussy, but you gotta get out of here. I thought this was all men. Go be a nurse. Yeah. <laughs> There's some strong ladies on posters right now. You should go do welding or something. Yeah. I think you're mixing wars here. Yeah, Rosie the Riveter. Yeah. I was thinking yeah. World War Two. <laughs> yeah. I do think it's nice that girls can be in war now. Yeah, that's not intimidating though. It's a lot of pressure off of us because now there's equality. We can be like, "Fuck it, I'm not going to war." Some mm-hmm. of these broads can go and fight. I saw a lady cop today. Oh, nice. Like, you know, you can run away from them. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know how to drive. No. <laughs> do a U-turn. Yeah, she's like, "Whoa, that's Whoa. too fast." What was that? <laughs> what did he just do? She's doing her makeup while she's in a high-speed chase. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's good. The broadest shoulders you've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, she looked. She looked pretty, just like a normal lady. Really? Yeah. Okay. Where was she? Like, where at? Was it was she like right a, on our road? Oh, is, I'm not worried about them anyway. No, there's like three of those guys on our. Yeah, no, the, there was literally three three cop cars. Yeah, that's, that's where that's they all put them. all the ladies. <laughs> like, go go up in this little corner where there's no crime. They put them all in one car, so like there's five girls in the force, and they put them in one car so they can gossip all day long. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta keep them close together. They're gonna start. <laughs> <laughs> they all have their own like Chihuahua canine unit. <laughs> yeah. They have purses that they let free. <laughs> they carry them around. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh goddamn! I have been uh, I have been thinking that uh, that we we have to think like. We're at the age now where we have to decide if we're going to get chubby or jacked. Yeah. There's only two options once we get closer to our 30s. Uh Uh-huh. There's no in-between. You can't be, like, just a regular-looking 30-year-old. What did you decide? See, the issue is if you're a jacked dad, that's rough because you have to go get pussy so often. (laughs) You (laughs) You have to. You're like, babe, I'm going to go to the gym so all these straight dudes can stare at me the whole time. Uh, Yeah. That's what I call getting pussy. <laughs> it feels so much better than actually getting laid. It Just does. A bunch of straight dudes asking you what you eat. It does <laughs> you feel know? good. I know. I had that like once when I was at my biggest and it, it was yeah. the best feeling. Oh, it's so nice. Posted. I felt so bad though because I went I went full narcissist mode. I was oh, like, okay. yeah, dude, I used to look, I was so skinny. I, I was showing like pictures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was the best. I used to be skinny like you, but you know, you just put in the work, you grind it out and you just come every day and <laughs> you look like me. <laughs> you were a douchebag. <laughs> I was such a dick. And after that encounter, I was like, fuck, dude. I would just give them bad advice. I would just be like, <laughs> eat whatever you want. Come to the gym like twice a week. Everything other than that is overtraining. <laughs> I have diabetes. I eat ice cream every night. Yeah. Just fucking eat whatever you want, dude. Mm. Life's short. Live <laughs> and live it up. Yeah, so yeah, what do you do you want to be a jack chubby. dad? What's your I gotta get chubby. You're gonna get chub? Yeah, more chubby, I guess. Aren't you there already? <laughs> nah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think I've gained weight. I can like I looked down. It was all in the span of a week where I looked down. I'm like, fuck, I have more of a gut now. And no, me too. I was yeah. sitting there working from home and I was curled up and my foop was, Yeah, I'm starting to get a foop. I was bending over, like tying my shoes and I felt three rolls. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is this? What is this? God damn, I only had one before. <laughs> like war- and just touching your pubic bone. Yeah. yeah. At, uh, at my fattest, when I would take a shit, my gut would touch my leg. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Like it would touch... Right here, you know, when you're like leaning forward to shit, yeah, it would just my leg would just be red from my gut sitting on it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I had, I, I don't know, it's not really there. Right. I lose weight so fast. Yeah, I could. I, lose it I just don't want to. So right now. like earlier this week on Tuesday, I had like a big roll just sitting here, yeah. and now it's gone. All right, 
I could be. I think I should go be in the UFC. Let's get jacked one time before we turn thirty. Let's just get like a fucking washboard abs. Let's do, uh, now is the time. Let's do it now. Yeah. To the point where our girlfriends say, "Like, I don't want to be with you anymore. Um, You're all dick and veins. <laughs> <laughs> they're grossed out." Yeah, I, I was going more on the fact that they're too intimidated to be with us. Yeah, that also that they think we're gonna beat them up because we're on steroids. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking more like other girls are gonna like us, and they're like, they don't, don't let us out of the house. Girls do not like. Yeah, chat guys. Yeah. They just think we're going to hurt them. Yeah. It's all going to be straight dudes that come up to us and they're going to be like, hey, you're gay now. Like, <laughs> you're, why are you trying to fuck all these dudes at the gym? <laughs> <laughs> you're part of us. <laughs> yeah. But I I think that... You know, they're going to be jealous of all the attention we get from dudes. So, you're like, I have a, am I getting too old? Because like, all these dudes don't hit on me anymore. They're mm, all after you. <laughs> that is such a nice thing about being a guy. Yeah. We get hotter. <laughs> if, we, if we put it in the work, like we just get that hotter. That is true. Because you never talk about, like, they never talk about, unless you get fat, there's no celebrity that people are like, God damn, that dude's busted now. Mm-hmm. It's always girls. It's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice. Yeah, they're going to get so jealous. But I, I, I lose weight and gain weight so fast, I think I could do it. I think I could be in the UFC, but just for the weigh-in parts. <laughs> yeah. Like, just the, <laughs> I would just go to the weigh-ins. I would get the shit kicked out of me at the actual event, but I'd be at the weigh-ins <laughs> just talking shit. Not even about the fighting. I would just be like, I'm, you're not going to make the weight, you fat <laughs> Look a little chunky there, buddy. I lost 50 pounds so you could beat the shit out of yeah. me tonight. <laughs> I, I, I stopped eating ice cream last night, and this I, I lost 20 pounds in one day. <laughs> And the, I lost pound weight, so you could throw me around that ring. <laughs> I'm, you're gonna be like, he's a dainty little boy in that <laughs> ring. <laughs> I just do self-deprecating shit. Yeah. Talk. You're gonna beat me up so fast. <laughs> you're gonna hit me, and my head's gonna fly off. I bet you can't kill me in thirty seconds. <laughs> I bet you can't do it. You can, you can choke me out with your pinky right now. <laughs> yeah. He's like, dude, I don't even want to do that. <laughs> Chill out. I don't want to beat you up that bad. You put me in an arm bar, my arm's gonna snap. You also have become friends with them before the weigh-in. Mm-hmm. So you're like, you're really good friends. Then you get there and you're like, you're going to beat the shit out of me tonight. And it's, Dude, I don't want to beat the shit out of you that wanna, bad. No. I think that would that would be my only defense in fighting. Become just friends with them. Buddy up with all my opponents <laughs> and just hype them up. Just like spar with them and be like, dude, you're so good. Yeah. You're so fucking good. You're in the ring on that fight night. What are you doing tonight after this? You want to <laughs> hang out? <laughs> I got like a I got like a case of Bud Light at home. Do you want to <laughs> hang out after? And you're like, dude, I'm cutting. Mind, dude. I'm like, you can't you can't gain weight on Bud Light. What are you talking about? Yeah. I've never gained weight on Bud. It's light. Yeah. It's light, man. It's only 100 calories. Yeah. Or you become friends with them and just put drugs in their drinks so they fail the drug test. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. So like, oh damn, do I get all the money now? He failed the drug test. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Rue Hiff, no why are... <laughs> Why are you taking roofies? Yeah. You have GHB in your system, dude. And cum in your butt. <laughs> I date rape them. That was the joke. <laughs> I'm putting up with them. Yeah. That way, when you're in the ring with them, they're just intimidated because they don't want to get fucked by you again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have one move, and it's to get them on the ground and flip them over. On the- <laughs> yeah. He's like, he just tabs right then and there. It's like, no, 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 not no, again, no. Not again, not again. <laughs> Start stripping them down. That would be fun. That would be so uh, bad. But like, you go to one of the UFC fighters therapy sessions, and you just figure out their all of their trauma, <laughs> and then you just talk to them about it in the ring. In the ring. <laughs> oh my god! So your uncle, how's he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I heard your mother dropped you a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you feel really remorseful about beating your wife. <laughs> yeah. Are you imagining um, this is your wife's face right now? Do I look like your wife right now? <laughs> Go ahead, hit me. <laughs> that would be good. Oh, damn. I heard you walk across the country at 14 years old to be able to get to America. <laughs> How was it escaping the cartel? <laughs> yeah. heard your entire family was gunned down in the streets. <laughs> you you know, because they only have the underwear on, so you just, like, put pictures that would trigger him in your pants. <laughs> you, like, pull out a picture of his dead family. <laughs> like, hey, like that. <laughs> Sprawl him across the ring. Is this your card? <laughs> you know? I show up for the title match with a tattoo of his dead mom on my <laughs> chest. <laughs> a permanent <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Throw him for a loop, dude. Just have one of those big Conor McGregor tattoos, but it's of his freaking dad who's in prison. Yeah. You really look familiar? <laughs> <laughs> Is that my fucking mom, dude? <laughs> <laughs> or you know how like uh, a lot of dudes get like a newborn babies on their chest? <laughs> Just get their newborn baby? <laughs> who, who died? <laughs> yeah, you're punching your baby right now. Does that feel good? 
a baby on my cheek. Yeah. They have a... I think Jake Paul is fighting Mike Tyson in July or something. What? And they put out a new photo of Mike Tyson for, like, the picture of the poster. And not only does he have the face tab, but he also now has a random baby on his chest. I assume it's his kid, but I think... It, I never I saw that so. before, you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's like the... Imagine hearing that some 26-year-old is fighting a 60-year-old man. You'd be like, yeah. that should be illegal. Yeah, he's 55, and people think Mike Tyson's going to beat the shit out of him. Just on age alone, if he gets hit in the head too many times, I think he's going down. He might die. Yeah. <laughs> might die. Imagine my dad out there. Oh, then, your dad? Then you have to hear Jake Paul bragging about killing Mike Tyson for a couple <sighs> years. Yeah. Like that pussy just fucking hit, took two hits and he was down. <laughs> <laughs> is it, It's Jake? Yeah, yeah, Jake's doing it. They're from. I don't like how all of the worst celebrities are from Ohio. They give us a bad rap. Yeah, the but Pauls, MGK, uh, who's Dahmer, Dahmer, yeah, <laughs> Dahmer. He's a pretty good celebrity. Le- LeBron James. He's actually the best one. He is the best one. That's the only one we can be like. LeBron James is our guy. My mom hates him. Really? Why? Because uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because of uh, his. Exactly. Own. He's really tall. She gets scared of tall people. <laughs> yeah. No, she. If yeah. they're black, <laughs> <laughs> only if they're black, she gets yeah, scared yeah, of them. Yeah. <laughs> I understood that. I didn't want to say it. Yeah, yeah. But he, apparently, he like, he would come to the university. Mm-hmm. One, he never he didn't go to the college or anything. No. And well, why would you when you could get millions of dollars? Yeah, exactly. You know? But he would go to the university and be a dick to people. Yeah, okay. Just like. And my mom didn't like that. Your mom was just mad he didn't go to the University of Akron because he brought so much money into the school. Yeah. It's like, that motherfucker could at least give us two years. Yeah, she, I, I could have gotten a better salary. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I was trying to defend him. I was like, he was like in his 20s at that time. Yeah. I mean, I would have been a dick, too, if I was making millions of 100%. dollars and people just kept trying to talk to me. I'm like, I'm better than all of you. Yeah. I'd be like, I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a mansion in Akron. You know how wild that is that I can aff- I can make a mansion in Akron and be amongst all these poor people? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, she still doesn't like him, though. I'm trying to cut him some slack, though. Can I hit that? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. His, his uh, teammate did fuck his mom. That's the one thing that's like, you could get him on it so easily. Oh. Remember that? I want to fight LeBron now. <laughs> I wanna just have a picture of his <laughs> tattoo his, of his mom fucking his teammate. <laughs> It was like Tristan Thompson or something like that, and LeBron got him to get kicked off the team, or like his contract ended that year, and he's like, don't resign that guy. And so uh, Tristan Thompson, Thomas, I think that's his name, Tristan is like Thompson. homeless now. Dude, imagine having that much power, yeah. that much leeway. You're just so good at basketball that you can... Just make a guy homeless. This guy was broke. mean to me. Yeah. This guy literally fucked my mother. <laughs> yeah. That's a... I mean, that's, uh, that is a move. I, I don't think you should be on a teammate with a guy. Why would you want to be on the same team as a guy that yeah. you banged his mom? You, the only the only recourse for that is to just fuck everybody's mom so that you're, everyone's even. <laughs> Everybody gets to fuck each other's moms. And then he's just known as the guy who fucks <laughs> yeah. mom. Like, new guy comes that's on the better. team, he's like, he's going to fuck your mom. But It's better to be the guy that fucks everybody's mom than just the guy that fucked LeBron's mom. Yeah, <laughs> you know? no, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Why are you fucking the Michael Jordan of our times mom <laughs> when you could fuck everybody, anybody? You could fuck fucking that white dude, that anybody. like five, six white dude that yeah. was on. The dude, Cavs. it's the NBA draft and like the Cavs draft someone and he's like, oh no, <laughs> he's gonna fuck, fuck my mom. <laughs> he starts crying. God damn it. Anyone with the Cavs. <laughs> yeah. They won the national, they won the championship last year. I'm gonna get first round drafted to the Cavs. Oh. That'd actually be last round draft, Fuck. buddy. Don't, Shit. He corrected me on my sports knowledge. <laughs> God damn it. I have to. I don't know a lot about sports, so when I get a chance yeah. to tell a man he's wrong. The only sport I don't know like anything about is basketball. I don't know the positions. I don't know anything. When I when I played 2K, I knew everybody. Mm-hmm. But no, not anymore. Yeah. I never played any of the sports games. I played Madden just so I could uh, like see how long I could do one play. <laughs> throw it to a guy and just run around as long as possible <laughs> but that was it you look like a tony hawk pro skater did you do that love tony hawk pro oh, skater so fun <laughs> skate three for the ps3 oh my that god that was a good one i played i played skate, skate three on the xbox too yeah dude it was so fun i was not very good at skateboarding i landed one kick flip and i skateboarded for maybe four years You're too tall <laughs> i was like 12 <laughs> from like 8 to 12 is when i skateboarded too tall. and then I just landed one kickflip, and then a couple of months later, I ended it. Ooh. <laughs> I had a we had skateboards, but we like we just ride them around my basement, mm-hmm. rarely ever. And 
we had like ramps. We weren't using those, but no. one time my friend, he came over. We were young. We were like maybe 10, 12, and he, his parents dropped him off, and we go downstairs and he starts skateboarding and he tries to go on the ramp. <laughs> he's not, he's like this chubby kid. <laughs> he fucking breaks his arm. <laughs> he breaks his arm. His parents aren't even down the road yet. And they have to call him. I was so excited. I was like, dude, we're going to hang out all weekend and immediately breaks his arm. That is funny. Did he come back after he broke his arm? Or did he go home the rest of the week? I think he went home. Yeah, that's fair. It's like, oh. You can't break your arm and then immediately go back to where you did it. No. You can't go back to the scene of the crime. They'll know it's you. No. <laughs> Too embarrassed. Yeah. He, he'd try it again. He's, he's a resilient dude. Breaks his other arm. <laughs> <laughs> I had a kid in high school that broke both of his arms at the same time. Ooh. It's funny because you knew his mom had to wipe his ass. <laughs> yeah. And he was just in school like this the whole time. Yeah. <clears throat> it, we He played... when we, we had like a new gym when I started playing like middle school sports. And the, we'd have to, these bands that you run a, against... So like oh, put resistance a, bands? Yeah. yeah. So you like put it around your waist, and there's like three of them daisy chained together, and you run as far as you can, and, and then come back. Mm -hmm. And he went out and came back, tried to catch himself when he was falling, and just broke both of his arms. Oh! Yeah. I thought I had the most embarrassing thing. I did that, and then my fell back, and my pants fell down. <laughs> <laughs> Were you yeah. wearing undies? Yeah, yeah. My okay. undies came out. I was so glad my dick did not pop out oh, of that. Yeah. That would have been embarrassing. That would have been so embarrassing. I was at Kalahari, the water park, one time, mm -hmm. and I was doing that boogie board thing where you go in there and it's like a big wave, you boogie board, and I fell off and then my full dick came out of my swim oh. trunks. Like it, it pulled my pants down. No one saw. And then my mommy laughed at me. <laughs> That's where it started. <laughs> That's where you got the funny bone. Yeah. Like, if, God damn it. I'm going to have a small dick. My mom's going to laugh at it. I got to be funny. <laughs> I gotta make these hoes laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's when I. F that's when you found out you had a small penis. <laughs> it's your entire life you think you're normal. I thought I was normal up until about three years ago with yep. my penis. Same. And then all of a sudden I'm like, I don't have a confidence in my penis anymore. Yeah. I don't know what happens. My confidence got wrecked too. Yeah. I don't know what happened either. I never. All the girls have never complained or anything, but all Same. of a sudden it was just like, my dick's awful. <laughs> yeah. It's just terrible. I think that uh, they never complained, but they never been like they never complained about it being too much. Mm -hmm. Which I, I think that's what's ruining me. I had too much confidence because my first girlfriend would be like, "That's massive." Yeah, well, yeah. Well, she <laughs> doesn't like, know. You've seen two guys' penises. How yep. do you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, if you luck out that way. Oh yeah, his her first boyfriend has like the smallest dick ever. Yeah. You come in later, and she's like, "Oh my god!" I, I probably would have married that girl. Yeah, <laughs> I've been like, yeah. this yeah. is. <laughs> this is how I can be my most confident self. And make sure you put on like parental controls on the Wi-Fi so she can never <laughs> look up porn. You're like, no, 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 we don't. Never. I don't. Not in this household. We're Christian now. <laughs> <laughs> We're not walking chin naked to trash. No. Hell no. You cannot change our baby's diaper. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's my. Like, job. Why is your baby's? This, why is the kids the same size as yours? Oh, your dicks don't ever grow. Yeah. You never heard that. They yeah. stay the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Then like he, he's like twelve, and you're telling him he's not allowed to. It's like you have, you're not allowed to come out naked. Yeah, your mom can never see your dick. Mom can never see it. <laughs> Penis, babe. Penises are like puppy paws. They stay the same. <laughs> then the, the, the puppy just grows. <laughs> yeah. You see a guy with a big. He's gonna be a big boy. He's <laughs> gonna be so big. I, I I got that way. I saw like this little Mexican boy with a big ass head. Oh yeah. Just big head on no, his penis. No. Oh, okay. No, I was just, just like, how the I fuck do you see a Mexican it. boy's penis? No. <laughs> I went hiking the other day, and he was it was just out. But <laughs> you know, he had this huge, like, a big head, and I was like, that's going to be a big man. Just fat. That's yeah. A, if you have a big head, you have to be a certain amount of chubby where it looks normal. Yeah, that's true. I see dudes doing videos now of where they're on, uh, like... Mess like some kind of omegle. That's what it is. Yeah, yep. And then they uh they meet with pedophiles and they're like, "I'm 14 years old. Can I have your Snapchat?" And if the guy gives them a Snapchat, everyone that's watching follows that guy immediately and starts like berating him. <laughs> and, yeah, that's fun. I want to do that. that I want to be a pedophile hunter. We can. <laughs> well, we, can do it. we should start. That'd be a good purpose to have in life. Yeah, just pedophile hunting. Mm -hmm. We're in Hollywood. I'm sure that we can find a few. So many. So many. We can go around trying to get these execs. Yeah. We just start auditioning, and we have put on, like, a hot little boy outfit, <laughs> and we just go there and be like... <laughs> we just, like, hire a little boy? No, we're going to be the little boys. 
Just, I could be a little boy. You just got to shave. You're a little tall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you just got to start shaving. <laughs> I was thinking we could hire a little boy. No, oh, I don't want to do that today. That kid. sounds like it's always sunny episode. <laughs> yeah. like, We're going to start pedophile hunting. So let's see what boy we can get. Scrabble boy us. off the street. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We start because then it turns into we have to scour the internet for young boys to do it for us, <laughs> and we're grooming them. Yeah. <laughs> we're like pedophile hunting by being pedophiles, and then we get pedophile hunted. Yeah. Like, no, we were trying to do no. what you guys are doing. We wanted to see. We wanted him as bait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down. That's a good episode. I was thinking of a Pixar movie about hummingbirds. Oh yeah, I think it'd be cool to have like a. Wouldn't it be cute? You know, like what's the premise? I don't have a premise yet, oh, okay. but just hummingbirds? there's like hummingbirds, like all all the feeders. It's kind of like set in a place where it's just an alleyway, kind of like we have. Mm-hmm. There's just hummingbirds, and it's like a family. It's, I think it's cute. They get fatter and fatter because <laughs> too many people are putting hummingbird feeders out. <laughs> yep. They're like, ah, oh, we gotta go on a diet, mm-hmm. and then it's a weight loss journey. Pixar film. Yeah. <laughs> Taking Ozempic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, son, you're 12 years old, but it's time to start Ozempic. There's too much food around here. <laughs> it's just- they sneak into someone's house. They like break into an apartment. They fly yeah. in and see Ozempic on the counter. I think that is the start of the downfall of our country is that people have gotten food is so available that people have gotten so fat that they have to drug themselves to lose weight. Mm-hmm. It, it's dystopian. Yeah. It's it's crazy. It's like, well, have you ever read Brave New World? No. Read that book? It's just, <laughs> if you re- ask me if I read any book, <laughs> unless it was on the high school mandatory reading, it was I guarantee online. the answer is no. <laughs> it was online. So it was not mine. I had to read it, but it, it's kind of like that, but it, it was more um, kind of like dopamine related. So they they would just take these things called like Soma pills okay. and it would just make them happy and feel good all the time. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah. No, it was fun. And like um, marriage was outlawed. And it was only hookups. You weren't allowed to have relationships. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> if you're always happy, no religion. No, that's not bad. If you if you're always happy from taking a pill and you're only doing hookups, you have the confidence because you're always happy to always have one mm-hmm. night stands. And then you're just like, <laughs> dude, imagine a Viagra mixed with uh, antidepressant. Oh, oh there'd be no God. stopping me. No <laughs> stopping. I'd just be a little horn dog mm-hmm. I mixed ain't with cocaine. But a horn dog. Just. Or Adderall. Huh. Oh, my God. Let's get into Percocets or something. Because I feel like that's Start all I need. Bills. For me to be happy, I need to be addicted to something. <laughs> that's going to make me happy. <laughs> you know? <laughs> if I could be addicted to being happy, I think I could get there. Yeah. <laughs> What's... I know you said Percocets, but what what is one thing that you I think you could be addicted to? Stimulates and, it uh, easily. Yeah. I don't know if I could actually do the... I don't like being down, but I think if I, you give me Coke... Or like Adderall or something, I'd very easily. I think Adderall it. would be a good one for you. Yeah, Ad- I just, uh, I think you could be like a functioning addict. Yeah. You think Adderall, Adderall yeah. or Coke? You never had Coke. Never had it. Oh. I, I'm scared too because I know I'm gonna be I like it a little Ooh, too like much. It too much. Because I like, I smoked one cigarette and never stopped. You know. What yeah, I mean? yeah. <laughs> I just like the the uppers a little bit Buzz. too much. Now you don't even feel anything from the cig. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get to that point with cocaine. Yeah. Like the one guy that doesn't even have any effect, he just does it as like a morning you cup of coffee. Rip it before bed. <laughs> just fall asleep. There was a college professor that was like a. His field of study was kind of like drug type stuff. Oh, yeah. And he was like, instead Hart. of a cup of, what? Dr. Hart. He was black. Yeah. yeah. His last name was Hart. Okay. Yeah. And he just did coke and of coffee Hart. in the morning. And he was like, supervision and like a little dose of heroin's fine for you. Yep. And yeah, he said he makes him a better father. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I'm a better husband. I'm a better father. Like, it's like having a, you know, glass of wine or something. Or probably more like 10, like two bottles of wine. Yeah. But... Yeah, you said it made him made him a better person. Microdosing heroin is a wild thing to do. <laughs> it is wild. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. Imagine if you're like primary care physician. Well, just yeah, like, just do a little heroin. Do a little math. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It just wakes me up in the morning. Go to therapy and you're like couple therapy, and then the, they just say you'd be a better husband if you did a little heroin. <laughs> You're actually I, too energetic. <laughs> I'm prescribing you guys some Molly. You make too much money and you're too energetic. So I think if you do a little heroin, you can, we can get you down there a little uh, bit. <laughs> I think that's what's next for us. Is I mean, we have like these prescription drugs that have all these names, but they essentially do what the illegal things do. If they legalize like heroin and all that, mm-hmm. they'll just start being like prescribing those. That's going to be sick when I have a little bit of a cold, so I take some meth for the Sudafed. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it's kind of made with Sudafed, so it will help with my cold. <laughs> it works. It evens out. Same it ingredients. A, that's a good side effect of being a meth head. Just never get sick. 
<laughs> just constantly soon fed it out. You get sick, but in a different way. <laughs> yeah. You get you gum get dope disease, sick. And <laughs> just like brain sick. But you'll never have a common cold. No, nope. that's pretty. That's better than the COVID vaccine. That is way better. I never met one meth head that had COVID. You well, know, <laughs> you got sores on your face, but yeah, you got open wounds, but rotting can, flesh. But you can breathe like a motherfucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? I've never coughed. I haven't yeah. coughed in ten years. <laughs> I only cough when it's the first hit or if it's burnt meth. <laughs> you know people can taste if there's burnt meth? Really? Yeah. Meth connoisseurs? Yeah. They're like wine experts like smelling it? It's a little burnt. I think it was made in the New Mexico mm-hmm. region. <laughs> some, some hints of gasoline in here. Yeah. Hmm. It's a lot. Of, I'm going to start putting bubble gum flavoring on my meth. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's good. What a... Uh, do you think there's like some some big time meth head out there who or some crackhead who can who can smell fentanyl in it? Who can kind of? Oh, that's funny. I mean, no, that's bad. He's literally uh, the wine guy. What's the wine thing called? Like a wine connoisseur. Yeah. Uh, no, it's for the tasting. Fuck. There's sommelier. A word. Sommelier. Yeah. Yeah. Sommelier, literally, Just, like there's earthy tones of fentanyl. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's he's the local sommelier on the yeah. on the streets. He he is the fentanyl tester. Yeah. Usually, take it to a place, and they they like. <laughs> he's like, no, just give me a little sniff. Yeah, uh-huh. He has a cool nickname. <laughs> you gotta take take your meth down to Fenty. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> he's like behind a dumpster, <laughs> and the, just the whole hobo neighborhood gathers around him. Line up. <laughs> he's testing their meth. I do like the energy of a guy at a party where they're like, "Hey, we have to test this real fast," and he's like, "No, nah, I'll just do it, and if I die." <laughs> Then you know. <laughs> I respect that. What is his life like? It's sad. It's not going to be long. It's, it's not. not. It's not a it's long not. life. But like, what is his personal life like? Not good. Just more drugs. You more know? drugs, and he's yeah. just like, yeah, I've been down this road before. <laughs> it's bad. Don't even like he has DNR. Yeah. Like, don't even bother. No Narcan at this party. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want a defibrillator. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, that's. Can you hit Narcan? Just like on it by itself. Just get addicted to Narcan. Because it's like an adrenaline. Like it spikes adrenaline and kind of wakes you up. You and probably could. That might D- be nice. That might be. They give it out for free. Uh-huh. We could get narcan out. You take, and then like if you overdose on Narcan, they have to bring in heroin. <laughs> yeah. Calm down, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> no, I think so. It'd just be like an EpiPen almost, isn't mm-hmm. it? It's like an inhalant, but still, yeah. that'd be sick. That we should start doing that. Do a Narcan. Let's go get Narcan. <laughs> I need to be more hyper. I need to... It's- <laughs> need that zest. Yeah. I want to be focused, but just crazy out of control on one thing. Uh-huh. We should get some Adderall. <laughs> you should. I've taken it once. The come down was rough for me. Never come down. That's the thing That's... they don't tell you about drugs. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to come down. You don't have to come down. You can just keep on doing it. <laughs> that can be your normal state. Yeah. If you like the way you feel on one thing, you can just keep doing it. Keep There's doing no, it. if you feel good on it already, why stop feeling good? And don't shame yourself out of the experience. What you've had Adderall? Never, never. Yeah. You would like it. I've only the yeah. only drug I've really had. I had OxyContin, but that was for like surgery, and I didn't feel anything from it. True. And I was like, I don't like pain pills anyway. I don't want to be sleepy. Like, I'm too depressed I want to be anyway. Ants. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they give you fucking. They give you Adderall after a surgery. That would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be amped all the time. It is not like it. It didn't really feel different from a normal state. I was so tired though. I like didn't get any sleep. But it it just you were kind of more like zoned in, focused in. Yeah. It was. Yeah. I think you would like it. Hell yeah, we're gonna get some. We can could. you get can you get diagnosed for me real quick just so we can have some Adderall yeah, around dude, the house? Going, just to, <laughs> going to a psychiatrist, so I could. I need you to do me one little favor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay your copay. <laughs> All right. This is just the drug dealing is you pay the copay for the guy that has a prescription. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, I'll pay the thirty five dollars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the insurance will take care of the rest. <laughs> that is fun. <laughs> I would be I would be the the cheapest dealer on the street. Yeah, just get, just cover my copay, dude. Yeah, just cover it. Copay and gas. That's all I got to do. Mm-hmm. You ever meet those dudes that like had sex when they were twelve, and you're like, dude, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. At the time, like seventh graders. Yeah. There was a kid in seventh grade who lost his virginity. I was like, nobody in my grade was cool enough to do it, but the grades below me were like, they were fucking at twelve. Was... I'm like, well, dude, that is, are you all right? And it <laughs> like, was always a girl from a different school. Yeah. From at my school, it was like. 
Because we, we grew up in kind of a Christian school, so you had to outsource to... The <laughs> always parent kids with bad parents, too. Oh, yeah. They're, like, home alone in the summer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, what's better? I, I thought he was so cool. I thought he was so cool. Now I just feel bad. Yeah. I was like, that is so sad. Yeah. I waited until the ripe age of 17. So. <laughs> yeah, 18. I thought 18 was perfect. I was like, this is... Money. Not traumatized at all. Yeah. If you pick one age to stay forever, what age would you pick? Um, Just like you're con- you never age at that age forever. 21. Yeah, same here. 21. I keep on thinking I'm 21 still, which yep. is wild. It was three years ago. <laughs> I'm too. still like, I'm fucking 21. 21. Fuck, I'm not. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. yeah, no, 21, I was still like spry, but I started, you know, my brain was developing a bit more. Yeah. I, I can feel, like, age on me now. Like, I feel sore more often. I don't know. Yeah. I think I'm destined to die early. <laughs> I always thought I was going to die at, like, 28. Damn. You know? Just, like, fucking have a kid and immediately die. That's the <laughs> that's the move. That is. If you have a kid and immediately die, you don't have to take care of it. You know you have offspring out there that's going to continue your family bloodline. And you don't have to feel bad about leaving your kid. No. You don't have, you're not even be a deadbeat dead. You're no, you're dead. Dead dad. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> It's yep. not bad. And it's, then that kid always has a story. Like, if he plays sports or something, it's always going to be like, I'm doing this for my dead dad, and he uh-huh. might become the best athlete of all time. <laughs> or, like, you could be in his life for a few years, yeah. and then, like, he's going to remember. Like, And if you're just a good dad for three years, yeah. he's going to be like, oh, man. My dad was the best. My first memory with my dad was so good, and that's all he's going to think about. Yeah. Be good then until they're five, die when they're in kindergarten, and then they have <laughs> the rest of their life to be like, I love my dad. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to die, though. You also have to kill your wife, because then that bitch is going to destroy... Talk shit. Yeah, talk shit on talk your name. Shit. No, I your dad know. was an asshole. If, if you... It depends how you die. Like, if it's a tragic death, then she... Usually, they, like... You could do whatever you want to your wife for 20 years, and then, oh, like, yeah. just have a tragic death, and they'd be like, oh, he was the best man ever. He yeah. was amazing. Such shooting a shooting yourself in the head is that a tragic death? <laughs> Is accidentally shooting yourself in the head a tragic death? I was cleaning the gun. So tripped and <laughs> fallen. Yeah. I tripped and fell. I have like a family in West Virginia, and there's so many stories my mom would tell me of like a dude just quote unquote cleaning his gun or the wife cleaning the gun and accidentally shooting and killing their spouse. It's so wild. They just get away with it because they're like, yeah, I'm just fucking cleaning it. And it went off. <laughs> I How many that... people are cleaning their guns? Quite a few. There's, I know of at least two stories like that. And that's a lot for one county to have that many stories. I feel like West Virginians are not cleaning their guns. I think I'd rather buy a new one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, that's like he, that's like when your pet dies and they say he went off to a farm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I was cleaning my gun with my wife's mouth. <laughs> And then she dirtied it up when I accidentally <laughs> shot, shot her. <laughs> Fuck. Then I had to get a new one. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> never mind. I'm so afraid of guns. My dad had a gun, and I accidentally touched it one time, and I'm like, oh, fuck. And I took out my shirt and wiped out with my fingerprints. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? You, you thought you were going to I don't know if he's going to kill, kill someone. someone? Yeah. Oh, my God. Maybe someone comes in and steals it, and I'm like, ah, shit. They used that gun, my fingerprints yeah. are on it? I thought, I went, the first time I held a gun was my like middle school girlfriend um went to her dad's house and he just had him out and he had little kids oh, and he okay. just had him on the dresser that's smart and he goes you want to hold it i'm like 14 and i i'm like holding this gun and i thought i was so cool but i was so scared i was so scared <laughs> and then you point at him like, let me let me fuck your daughter <laughs> 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 leave us alone in the room for 20 minutes <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah and i was shaking i was like yeah, that you could just trip and accidentally shoot someone. That would scared me for life. Mm-hmm. Just the accidental shooting of someone and killing them is just too much power. Yeah, for me. Well, um, I mean, it's like the first time driving in a car. Like when you first oh, get yeah. your license, you're like, I have the power to kill. Yeah, right I like that now. power now. It is nice because I know how to drive, and I'm like, I can mm-hmm. kill her. <laughs> well, I was talking to Lily. I was like, I feel like we're all too comfortable driving these cars. Yeah, well, I mean, I. Just, text during it i fucking yeah <laughs> we're like we are at death speed right now yeah. we're traveling so fast i literally blank out and don't know where i am like that i traveled 30 minutes you know what i'll I mean? fall asleep while <laughs> yeah. I'm like Ugh. fuck that was a good nap like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking just like almost running into a semi yeah 
It is, we are pretty comfortable driving cars. Way too comfortable, uh, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> they need to take this car away from me. I'm uh, dangerous. They need to make it a bit more scary. Like, bring back, I think, don't make them so comfy. Don't there make them so a, easy. There should be a gun to your head when you're driving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you fuck up, your gun's yeah, going yep. off. <laughs> there needs some pressure, some immediate pressure. I mean, then we were talking about if, like, the self-driving cars, mm-hmm. like, if that takes over. Wait, this is just, like, driving black. Driving black? Driving when you're black, just scared. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh. That is driving with a gun to your head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This has been a uh, episode 92 Two. of the Shower Party. 92. Bar, tell a friend how much fun you have when you listen to Shower Party. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tell a friend. If you had as much did. fun as I had on this episode, then tell tell a friend. The boy, tell you must be elated right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you must be grinding against your pillow. <laughs> yeah. See you. Bye.